Hello everyone. Another way to get less validation error in the model for reducing overfitting and variance is early stopping. So in this video, we will see what is mean by early stopping and how to use early stopping in TensorFlow 2.0. So many times we can see the graph like this. Orange curve is just indicating the validation error and blue curve is indicating the training error. In training, we can see that loss is decreasing continuously and it is stagnant after certain number of iterations. But in validation, we are getting decreased loss up to some iterations and after that it is increasing drastically. So what early stopping says, you have to stop the training when we are just getting increased validation error. Means we have to stop somewhere here. Thus we will get the reduced validation error for the model and our model will not overfit in such cases. Now let's see how to use early stopping in TensorFlow 2.0. We can add early stopping as a callback function in TensorFlow 2.0. So let's add callback in our already developed model. So we have created model. We have specified how we want to train our model. Now after that we have to specify a callback function for early stopping. We have to use tf.keras.callbacks and from callbacks we are interested in early stopping. Okay, so this is the callback early stopping. Now inside this callback function we have to set parameter. So this callback function will be called after each epoch and if something is not right as per our parameter then training will be stopped. So first parameter is monitor. So what we want to monitor over here? We want to monitor validation accuracy. Then we have to specify how much improvement we want after each epoch. So if improvement is by 0.01 then training will be continued. But if uh, improvement is not 0.0, .0 then training will be stopped automatically. We have to also pass a parameter as patience. So how much patience we have? So it says that I will wait for one epoch and if after one epoch improvement is not 0 0.01 then training will be stopped automatically. So this callback function we have to register with the training. For that you have to use model.fit. Inside model.fit we have callbacks callbacks is equal to in uh, rectangle packet you have to specify early st stopping okay this is returning history as another callback let me execute this cell so we have successfully registered our callback function with model.fit. Now training is started on our X train and Y train. Okay, even though we have specified epochs as 10, after second epoch training has been stopped automatically. Why? Observe the validation accuracy. Here validation accuracy after first epoch is 0 0.9807. In second epoch we are getting accuracy as 0 0.9790. So we can observe that validation accuracy is dropped by 0 0.01 and it is contradictory with our parameter. That's why training is stopped over here. This is called as early stopping. I hope you are getting how to work with early stopping. Thank you for watching the video.